Hey everyone, welcome to my 2018 uh, Wii collection video. I am going to show you everything I have for the Wii. It's not a massive amount, but I have tried to keep it quality over quantity for the Wii as there is a lot of shovelware out there. Uh, let me know what other collection videos you want to see. I could make an updated um, PS2 collection video, some pickups, um, a lot more PlayStation 3 games. Uh, PlayStation 1, few new acquisitions to that, nothing really new for the Vita, uh, Xbox, GameCube, then miscellaneous. I really don't have a massive amount of things that I collect for, you know, it's PS1, Wii slash Wii U, PlayStation Vita, original Xbox, GameCube, and then PlayStation 2 and 3, that's pretty much it. I do try to keep it somewhat focused, and I have a lot of stuff to show. Alright, let's get started with this. I have been collecting for the Wii since about 2011, I think. You can actually go back in the timeline and probably see every single, like, uh... Every single game I'm about to show you, I've probably shown in a pickups video at some point. Because most of this stuff, or... Hell, all of this stuff, I got from op shops and pawnbrokers and just... Places where you can get them on the cheap, so... Let's just start showing these. My knee is having some trouble, so I'm not going to bend too much. And we do have some overflow here. My knee usually only gives me trouble after work, which is annoying. I'll be good at the beginning of the day, but then... Yeah, you know how it is. So first up, has to there 2 and 3 returns. This is an X rental, so I will be looking to upgrade this at some point. I actually just do some um, maintenance on that. Get the stickers off. That's a really fun game though. House of the Dead is just fantastic. It's so much fun, light gun shooter. Death Junior, Root of Evil. This is a pretty fun game. It's also on the PlayStation Portable. It is a uh, like 3D beat em up. Really good for uh, multiplayer. Battalion Wars 2, my pick for probably the best underrated game on the Wii. There's just, nobody talks about this, and it is just one of the best games on the system. I think my copy of that is, yeah, no manual. That's okay. Harvest Moon, I don't really play those kind of games, but one for the collection. This is one I found for $18 one time in EB Games. Fantastic price at the time. Uh, Metal Slug Anthology, unfortunately it is disc only and it came that way I had to print out my own case for it but it looks pretty good all things considered yeah that just says every Metal Slug game on there so you can't go wrong what else do we have Star Wars The Clone Wars haven't tried this one out yet looks okay got it on the cheap uh, one of the worst games on the Wii I just have it for whatever if I ever do, like, a culling, these two will be going. Final Fantasy, Crystal Chronicles, The Crystal Bearers. Have not played this one yet, but it looks okay. It is a, a co-op game. Another Code R, A Journey into Lost Memories. This is another one really, really underrated. Uh, definitely give this one a play if you haven't. It's also on the Nintendo DS uh, in a separate kind of game, but same uh, series. This is a game set around um, a character that has amnesia and you go around this uh, campsite and all of these surrounding areas and you have to figure out why your father is missing. It's really, really good. I have dirty thumbnails. Sorry for that. All of my thumbnails are kind of dirty if you go back and look at my YouTube. But yeah, just definitely give this one a go. It is a fantastic game. It reads and solves like a misery novel. It's just like that. It's a lot like uh, Professor Layton. Like, have a mystery to solve, and you solve puzzles along the way to help solve it. It's a lot easier, though. It is kind of for kids. Raving Rabbids Travel in Times is just a minigame collection. I have a few of those. They're fun to play multiplayer. The Wii is a great multiplayer system. Uh, Bleach Shattered Blade. I got this in the UK. I think it was something like 50 pence. I couldn't leave it behind. It's a fighting game. It's not very good, but whatever. Manhunt 2, another one I found in the UK, uh, banned in Australia, so I don't technically own this, if anybody asks, there is nothing in this case. But yeah, it's one that you cannot get here in Australia, so I had to get it in the UK, but you see it everywhere in the UK, man. I got mine for £2. It's an okay game. Worms Battle Islands, this one is a little bit harder to find. 
Worms game, great multiplayer. Worms games are some of the classic all-time multiplayers. Super Mario Galaxy 2, I have this in this box. It has a tutorial DVD on how to play the game, which is pretty cool. I have not played this one because I have hacked my Wii and I cannot um, update the game or update the system without bricking it, so I have not played this. Uh, a weird collection, I got it for 5 bucks. Toy Story 3, it comes with Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, the novelizations. Just something weird, I love books, I love video games. There should be more video game book releases. Like, there's no reason why you can't release Metro 2033 with, without the book, you know? You should release it with that. Uh, Monster Hunter 3, this is a Japanese version. Not super into Monster Hunter. House of the Dead Overkill, another really, really good game on the Wii. This is a light gun shooter, a lot of light gun shooters on the Wii. This one is very adult oriented. You know, a lot of adult humor. This is a special edition that comes with a comic book, which is really cool. Uh, Super Mario Brothers History. This came with uh, Super Mario All-Stars, the 25th anniversary set for the Wii. I do not have that. I would love to get it, but it's still like 50-ish bucks, so I just don't have it yet. But this is, it's not actually a game, it's a soundtrack and like a uh, small booklet that has history and stuff. Gravity, really good puzzle game. I think I found this for like three bucks one time. American copy, but I have hacked my Wii so I can play it. Uh, it's a physics-based puzzle game. It's really fun. It's a little bit like Angry Birds, except this is this was out way before Angry Birds, 2007. So, who ripped who off? Who knows? Resident Evil: The Dark Side Chronicles. This is another light gun shooter. It, I believe, this takes you through. One of the light gun shooters on the Wii takes you through like all of the Resident Evil games in like quick 30 minute bursts. So this might be that one. Really good though. Yeah, the Wii is just perfect for light gun games. Metroid Other M. Gameplay is good, but the story is just trash, man. And, you know, it's, it's not good. Sam and Max Season 1. I would love to get Sam and Max Season 2. <sighs> Dust on my arm. But it is way harder to find than this one for some reason. Uh, well, one of the first Telltale games that I really uh, found out about. This is one of the first games I got for the Wii as well. I paid... Like, next to nothing for this. This is really fun. It's a point-and-click adventure game, which also works well with the Wii. Couple of heavy hitters in here. The Last Story. I haven't played it yet. It's one I will get around to eventually. And Pandora's Tower. Haven't played it yet. One I will get around to eventually. I think my friend played this because he was showing me how this chick has, like, scars all over her body. It was interesting. Uh, the Freeloader. This is what I used to use to play Wii games in other regions, but now I just have a uh, Gecko software installed. Uh, Escape from Bug Island, I love this game. If you're looking for a um, throwback to like really bad Dreamcast games, like um, like Blue Stinger or The Ring, yeah, definitely give this one a go. It's a bad game, but it is a lot of fun. It's like a horror game. Another uh, light gun shooter collection. Arcade Hits Pack, Gunblade, and LA Machine Guns. Really cool set here. I can't, can't really think of any other reason why this would be released other than on the Wii. Budget shoot 'em ups on the arcade. Put it over to the uh, Wii. Why not? Uh, Rogue Trooper, Quartz Zone Massacre. So the printed out cover, but that's okay. I like this game, it's fun. Third person shooter. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword includes special orchestral CD. I think I have that. Yep. Has a CD in the game, but no manual, which I don't really care. Manuals are a um a nice addition, but I don't really need them if I'm getting the game for cheap. I think I got this for like five bucks. This was part of the uh anniversary edition. It was supposed to come with like a uh, golden Wii remote. I would love to have that set one day, but just don't yet. Good game. Dead Space Extraction, another really good um, light gun shooter on the Wii. This one is a lot slower paced than the others, but it is still really fun. This is also released on this set here. This 
Dead Space 2 Collector's Edition. This has full Dead Space Extraction game on it, so keep a lookout for that one because you can use the uh, move controller with that. I'm going to try my luck and bend down here. Ooh. Uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, another 3D beat em up. It's fun. Dewey's Adventure, I got this for super cheap. Thought it would be really fun. It's not too good. It's a, um, you control like a bubble of water. And you go around on these levels trying not to pop. It's okay. Very calmy, American version. I don't remember where I got this, but it was super cheap. Completing there. The Misses, this is her favorite game ever. It's really, really good. It's basically just Legend of Zelda with a wolf. There's Chewy Old Monsters, Big Willy Unleashed. Nothing to say about that one. Arctic Tale, this is a fun game. This would be a great game for kids that are looking to get into um, nature and documentaries and stuff. Like, I loved documentaries as a kid. I had all the na National Geographic ones. I would have loved a game like this where you play as like a polar bear and a seal and stuff. It's actually really fun. Uh, the Munchables, another really underrated game for the Wii. I need to clean that case up. But yeah, really fun game. You play as this uh, this Munchable thing and you go around eating things. It's a uh, kind of platformer, kind of beat em up. It's really fun though. If you want to be a millionaire, 2nd edition, Goldeneye 007. Good one to get for the Wii. Deadly Creatures, this is interesting because one of the characters is voiced by Billy Bob Thornton, I think. Yeah, Billy Bob Thornton and Dennis Hopper, so it's like, just a weird one. And you also play as a spider and a scorpion, like, killing other bugs, so it's just interesting. Resident Evil Zero, got that for seven bucks, hell of a deal, man. Resident Evil Zero is such a good game. I should get that for the GameCube, I think I have it, actually. Yeah, somewhere. Mortal Kombat Armageddon. It's okay. Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles. I think this is the one that goes through all of the original games. Yeah, storylines and characters from those games. Another light gun shooter. LEDs. Interesting game. You uh, point the, rem the Wiimote at the screen and try to um, find these little things in the house. It's interesting. Mad World. You can get this anywhere for next to nothing, so definitely get it. It's a really good game. It's a bit like Smash TV, where you go through like these uh, stages and you just destroy everything in your path. And it's completely black and white except for blood. Which is red. And Zhu on the Grudge. I believe my missus has a really rare variant on this, which I would like to steal from her at some point, in case you are watching. But yeah, this is interesting. It's more of an interactive movie than a game. So you um, you go through these really short levels and all of the jump scares are just like stuff popping out. There's no real danger. Whenever there is real danger, you just have to shake the Wiimote to get it away. But it is interesting. Not worth its price tag at all though. Rabbids Go Home. This is a really fun game for kids. This is a 3D platformer where you just collect junk. You go through these levels and you collect junk and you're building a um like a junk heap to the moon. So it's a bit like uh to the to the uh what's that game called? I think it's called To the Sun. It's on the PlayStation 1, you play as cavemen trying to build something to the sun. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, really interesting game. Definitely a different game for the Silent Hill franchise. You it's a kind of remake of Silent Hill 1, you do control Harry Mason. But you cannot hurt enemies at all. You can't even attack them. So whenever you see an enemy, you have to run away. And it's set up into these segments. Like, there's a puzzle exploring segment and a run away from the enemy segment. It is good, though. Samurai Warriors Katana. It's okay. Goosebumps Horrorland. I have not played this one, though. It does look interesting. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Complete. Great shape. Really good game. Definitely check that one out. 2D platformer. Red Steel 2, the Red Steel games are pretty good. They're first person shooters on the Wii, which always play really interestingly. If you use a sword and a uh, gun in these ones, they are cool. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, this controls way better than it should, simply because you use the Wiimote. 
her Spy Fox Dry Cereal. This is for kids, but it is a point-and-click adventure game, so I did want to go to grab it. Animal Crossing, let's go to the city. Zack and Wiki, quest for Barbaro's Treasure. This is an interesting game. This is a NTSC American copy, printed out cover. It's a uh, puzzle game. It is pretty good. Somebody Amigo? I love what Sega releases on the Nintendo Wii. They can do no wrong. Except for some of the Sonic games, but Somebody Amigo is a really, really fun game. It's a uh, rhythm game where you use the Wii mode as maracas. Transformers Cybertron Adventure. Third person shooter, it's okay. Punch Out on the Wii. I have not tried this one yet, though I think it's okay. No More Heroes 2 Desperate Struggle. I have not played this one yet, though I hear it's more of the same from the first game. The Skycrawlers, Innocent Aces. Um, I think this is a pretty good game. I've played it a little bit. I'm not super into the flight sim games, but this is based on the Skycrawlers movie, which was a really good anime movie about this, um... It's this really interesting story about a war that never ends. And how um, the government is telling people about this war that is technically waging, but it's just like the government fighting against itself. It's really interesting. Check out the movie, I guess. The Conduit. I've been looking for The Conduit 2 on the cheap forever. I just cannot find it. It is a good game. First person shooter. Spectrobe's Origin. Haven't played it. Xenoblade Chronicles. Haven't played it. Here it's really good. Really expensive game too. Uh, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. This is a fun game. You use the uh, Wii mode as bongos. Sonic Colors, American version. Another really good game. Sonic Colors is one of the better Sonic games. Uh, apparently, I have two copies of Arctic Tail. That's interesting. Brothers in Arms Double Time. This is a really fun game. First person shooters on the Wii, they are pretty fun. Knight's Journey of Dreams, this is a really cheap game as well. This is one that's maybe going to go up in price at some point, just because it is a weird title. A sequel to a Sega Saturn game, which is really interesting. Yeah, how many sequels to Sega Saturn games on other consoles are there? It is pretty good. It's like a platformer where you fly. You have to fly through rings, but it is fun. Guilty Gear Core. Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, the Director's Cut, another point-and-click adventure game for the Wii. The Calling, probably my favourite game on the Wii. I should make a video about this one at some point. I have finished it, it is really, really good. It is a first-person horror game where you go through, like, schoolyards and, like, um, hospitals and stuff, and you have to avoid ghosts. It's really cool. It's all connected to, like, people's cell phones and stuff, and they get... Like, transported to this ghost reality. It's really, really fun. I think I found that for like 19 bucks one time. Amazing deal. Dragon Quest Swords. Uh, this one is okay. It's a Dragon Quest game, except when you enter battle, you have to swing the Wii remote. It's okay. Alright, let's go to the other pile. Okay, let's continue on. We have Endless Ocean 1 and 2 here on my broken laptop. These are really good games too. These are deep sea exploration games, which is right up my alley because I love scuba diving in real life. I have not been able to go for a long, long time, but I still love going to the beach and stuff. So I do like him. I do like playing these games and enjoying them. They are pretty simple, but fun. Endless Ocean One and Two, Call of Duty Black Ops for the Wii. Interesting game. Well, it's not interesting. It's Call of Duty. Rarington Super Slam Hunting North America, One Piece Unlimited Cruise, I've not played any of these yet. We Sing Down Under, that's for the misses. Marines, another copy of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire 2nd Edition, I'll have to get rid of that. Trivial Pursuit, Possible Mission, which looks fun, I really want to try this out. It's a port of a old Commodore game, which is really interesting to me. And Major Minor, Majestic March, which is for the missus as well, because she likes rhythm games. Alright. 
let's try this stuff. This is for a while. This was my favorite games on the Wii, but now it's just another shelf. So we have Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. I haven't played this yet, but I did get it cheap. I'd love to get Fire Emblem on the Wii, and if anyone watching, uh, let me know what good games am I missing for the Wii. I'm sure I'm missing a bunch. The Shadow's Tale, I will be doing a review of this shortly. I just need to find the time to sit down and edit a review together. It is a really fun game. No other game really like it. You play as a uh, Shadow Man, and you have to walk on the shadows of the level instead of the actual level itself and fight shadow enemies. It's really fun. Poke Park 2, 1 is Beyond, haven't played it. Tron, haven't played it. Soul Calibur Legends, I hear that one's really bad. Kirby's Adventure for the Wii, this is one I found for $3, really, really good deal. Have not had a chance to play this just because my Wii here and my really, really dusty Wii U, Jesus Christ. I've not powered that thing on in many, many a moon, but. The Wii here, this is hacked, so some of these later releases I just can't play. Raving Rabbit's Party Collection, this has three games on it. Naruto Clash of Ninja Revolution European version, even though it's very, very clearly Australian. That's weird. This one was okay. The Naruto games are all pretty fun. Fragile Dreams, Feral Ruins of the Moon. This is a really cool game about a, a post-apocalypse and this boy trying to find the uh, one person that he sees who is alive. Like Everybody else he sees are like robots or um, ghosts. It is a lot of fun. It just isn't... The gameplay is very rough and there is a lot of padding in the game. So it is one that's hard to recommend, though it is overall a good game. And very hard to find. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I hate that game. It is... I don't know. People give Sonic Unleashed so much shit, but then they give a game like this a pass, which is like the exact same thing. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. What can you say? It's a great, great game. Probably the best Smash Bros. game out there. Medal of Honor Vanguard, I really enjoy this game. First person shooters on the Wii, I love them. Project Zero Two Wii Edition, this is a series that I really need to get into because I really enjoy horror games, I've just never gotten into these. You know, the Fatal Frame slash Project Zero games, they're supposed to be incredible. A Boy and His Blob, speaking of incredible, this is just fantastic. 2D Side Scroller, Puzzle Platformer, a sequel to a very obscure NES game. That's what I really liked about the Wii. There were a lot of like sequels, or, like updated versions of weird games you would never think would get another s chance. Mario Strikers Charge Football. My nephew kicks my ass in this, so I don't play it anymore. Transformers Prime the game. It's okay. 3D beat em up. Another series I really need to get into Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I'd love to get Metroid Prime Trilogy. Uh, this is the best light gun shooter of them all. Three games in one. Mad Dog McCree, the Gunslinger Pack. This is just amazing. And another example of like weird stuff you wouldn't think would get a release. I mean, it has Mad Dog McCree, Mad Dog 2, and The Last Bounty Hunter, which is my personal favorite. Yeah, this is stuff right from the era of full motion video, which is just some of my favorite stuff. No More Heroes, really good game, but the world feels very, very empty. But the uh, levels that you go through themselves are really fun. It's a very quirky game. Made by uh, Grasshopper? Yeah, Grasshopper Manufacturers. They've made a lot of weird games. I think they also made um, that other one I showed. Uh, Mad World. Brothers in Arms, Owned in Blood. This is a fun game. That's the second time I've showed it, okay. It's always interesting when I do these uh, collections and I find doubles. Agatha Christie and Then There Were None. Another point and click adventure game. I, 
I like point and click adventure games on the Wii. I think they're a very, very good fit. Tenchu Shadow Assassins. Assassins? Assassins? From Roderick. What the, what's the guy's name? Sean Connery. Don't know him for a second. I've not played this one, but all of the Tenchu games are pretty much the same. They're, um, like ninja simulators. You get dropped in a level and you have to find a certain person and assassinate them. Tornado Outbreak, really fun, and the person originally bought this board for like 90 cents. So, I mean, check this one out. It's a lot of fun. Konami was releasing a lot of interesting titles back in the day. she and the Wanderer, this is in another printed out case, but that's okay. The disc is there, American copy. Fun game, it's a uh, dungeon crawler. Made by... who made this? I think this was one that was made by Atlas themselves, because Atlas releases a lot of games, but doesn't make a whole lot. I think this one was made by them, I have low battery. Get through this quick. Obscure 2, another really good game. Definitely check this one out, it's a lot like the old Resident Evil games. Super Paper Mario, it's okay. Super Mario Galaxy, another one of my favorites on the Wii. 3D platformer, check it out. One of the first games I got for the Wii, Bit Trip Complete. I think I paid like $10 for this, which is fantastic. I love that some of these uh, WiiWare games got actual releases because a lot of WiiWare games are just... They're gone. Now the, now the WiiWare is no longer a thing. These are just gone. So if they didn't get a uh, release, can't play them. Klonoa. I got this in a lot of games for like 10 bucks. Really good deal. This is a really good game too. Definitely check this one out. It's a uh, another one. Sequel to a weird game you wouldn't think would get a sequel. It's a remake of the first game on the PlayStation 1. Mario Sports Mix. I just have it for the sake of having it. An American copy of Endless Ocean Blue World. I have way more doubles than I should in a small collection like this. That's complete. Super Mario Brothers Wii. Really good game. A lot of fun. Wii Sports plus Wii Sports Resort. I only just got this one recently. I used to just sell these copies. I decided to keep one for my collection because I do enjoy Wii Sports, it is fun. Uh, Sin and Punishment Star Successor, another really, really good game for the Wii, and you can get it dirt, dirt cheap, or at least you could back in the day. This one that they don't really... This one that isn't really expensive yet, and it will get expensive, you know. Aren't too many shooters on the Wii, so definitely pick this one up if you see it. And once again, sequel to a weird Nintendo 64 game that was only released in Japan. Monster Hunter Try. And finally, Ghost Squad. Another light gun shooter on the Wii. And another good one. I actually have played this in the arcades, it's really fun. Okay, that's all. If you want to know what Wii U games I have, there you go. I don't have many, so I will... Probably never do a collection video for those, and I've not played many of them. I might do a Vita collection tour at some point, because I do enjoy the Vita, but that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, I'm not going to turn it around. Alright, see you my husk, bidding you guys farewell, bye.